Life City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the grocery store, in the drinks aisle actually, because for today's January healthy video, I wanna tell you the best quality drinks you can possibly put in your body. Obviously water is the answer, right? And I drink a ton of water. You're supposed to drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day, but some people just get bored drinking water. So there's a lot of selections, but you really have to be careful because sometimes they sneak excess, uh, excessive sugar in there, uh, natural flavors and ingredients you don't wanna put inside your body. So what are some of the best things you can drink? This is one of the most exciting things, check it out. This is actually collagen water. We've talked about this before. It's Vital Proteins Collagen Water, and it's one of the few times that you'll see a strawberry and lemon flavored drink that actually uses, drum roll please, strawberry juice and lemon juice. What's more exciting also, they put monk fruit is the sweetener and collagen peptides. There's 10 grams of protein here, in one scoop of collagen. So we've talked about collagen a lot. I'm a big believer. I take two scoops every day, one scoop in my morning tea, one scoop in my afternoon protein smoothie. So with this drink, you're getting hydration. You're getting zero calories from the sweetener because it's monk fruit. And you're getting a scoop of grass-fed collagen that also has 10 grams of added protein. Amazing. The only thing not amazing about it is the price. I know it's expensive. Hey, it's on sale right now. Not a bad deal. I think in the summertime, Costco has this, but man, this is so exciting. Original has lemon, blueberry mint is good too, but strawberry lemon is my jam. Really cool stuff. Sticking in flavored waters, check this out, Art. This is actually maple water, okay? So you look at this, it's one ingredient here. It is organic maple water. So what does that mean? It's actually, well, first let's see the sugars. Seven grams of natural sugar, not bad. That's under two teaspoons in this bottle. But the reason why I don't mind it is because it's a natural sugar. When you tap a maple tree, the liquid that comes out is not maple syrup, right? It's water. They then boil that down to a maple syrup. This is the pure water and it has a slightly sweet flavor, but nothing like maple syrup. It's very refreshing. Actually, we're gonna get this and a few other drinks and do a taste test at the end of the video. So stay tuned at the end of the video. Um, the cool thing about this is that it has natural electrolytes in there and it's very refreshing. So I'm okay getting this. The flavored ones, no, because they use natural flavors, but this is really cool. I saw it for the first time about a year ago. Very, very exciting. So I'm gonna put that in my cart. If you drink coconut water, right? This is not the kind of coconut water I would get because this coconut water, that coconut water, this coconut water down here, highly pasteurized coconut water. So what happens when you actually do that? You HTST, or high temperature short time pasteurize it. You pasteurize it, such a high heat, you kill all of the living enzymes in there and that's an actual nice side benefit of drinking coconut water so at that point all you have is a good amount of potassium it's potassium water right but it does have natural sugar so you have to be careful because i'd rather get that added benefit of the enzymes so i wouldn't drink any of these that are on the shelf one of the two i only drink is this one this is harmless harvest it's pink right because when the natural antioxidants hit the light sometimes, it oxidizes into a pink color. It doesn't affect anything else. But this is HPP. It's high pressure pasteurized, which creates very little heat. So there's actual living enzymes in here. The problem is it's a little more expensive. It does live in the fridge case because it's perishable, unlike this stuff. But Trader Joe's now has their version of this and it's pretty much a little cheaper, but the same exact thing. And it's really exciting. What's even better than this? And we just walked over to the produce section. They don't have it. Go to your produce section or go to an Asian store. Get a young Thai coconut. It's that white thing with the pointy top. Crack it open using a cocoa jack or be very careful, use a knife. There's more water in here than this bottle. You could scoop out the white meat and make a, a smoothie. It's unbelievable. It's about $4.99. This is $3.99. You get way more water and that meat is so good for you because the coconut meat is loaded with MCTs and good saturated fat and lauric acid so good for you so i really encourage you to check out that young coconut um also over here this is cool brags the ogs are now making apple cider vinegar drink so look at this this is organic apple cider apple cinnamon and they don't use natural flavors they don't use any crud they use raw apple cider vinegar apple juice real cinnamon sweetened with stevia four grams of natural sugar from the apple juice but the cool thing is look at that see that's the mother, right? That's the probiotic mother there. That's really good when you buy the bottle of apple cider vinegar, it's the same thing. So you're getting that probiotic effect. I would drink this in the morning on an empty stomach 
It's a great uh, reset or a detox. Very good stuff. But look down here, Art. They have amazing flavors. They have Concord grape, ginger spice, apple cinnamon, and apple cider vinegar. So I actually want to try the Concord grape because it only has five grams of sugar. That comes from the actual grape juice. But combine that with the apple cider vinegar and the stevia, that's amazing. So let's get one of those. Let's get an apple cinnamon and we're gonna taste test that. And then let's go over here, take a little field trip art, because there's other drinks here I think are interesting. Excuse us. Get in the way of all the shoppers. Those are like the shelf stable drinks, right? But this right here is a refrigerator case that has some really cool stuff. And this is one of the coolest dairy-free kind of like power drinks you can get. It's called Rebel. And this is one of my favorite flavors. It's Rishi chocolate. Rishi is a magical mushroom or a functional mushroom. But look at these ingredients, you guys. Okay, coconut milk, so it's dairy-free. They use coconut sugar or low glycemic sugar. And then all these amazing ingredients here. Himalayan pink salt. This has 12 grams of sugar, which is a touch high, but it's coconut sugar. But if you want to get something that has lower, this is amazing. It's a cold brew coffee with plant-based protein. Sugars are what? Four, so that's only one teaspoon. Comes in the form of coconut sugar, plant-based protein. Look at these ingredients, I've never seen this. Ashwagandha, stevia, coconut sugar. This is great stuff. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get the cold brew for Art and the Rishi for me. Also over here, this uh, Kauai is okay, but they do use natural flavors. And here's a new one I've never seen before. It's this one. Are we in your way? Yes, yeah. it's 20 grams. Yeah, go for it. Get right out of your way. This is Car Karma, is that? Yeah, Karma, Karma Kramer. This is a plant-based smoothie here. And I just saw it for the first time the other day. Ingredients, crazy, crazy. Look at this, organic ground quinoa? Flaxseed, bananas, and monk fruit. Holy, we gotta try one of these too. Let's get the uh, banana cinnamon. So that's really exciting. You guys, this stuff did not exist when I grew up in the 80s and 90s, when Art and I grew up back then. This is next level stuff. It's really exciting. And I just wanna also touch on flavored water, right? The other kind of sparkling flavored water, which was back over there, is Spindrift. That's the only sparkling water on the market that doesn't have natural flavors, which is why I don't drink stuff like LaCroix. But these guys are a local company right here. This is the other flavored water that's non-sparkling. Check it out, Art. It's called S. It's an Elgin, Illinois-based company. And they make flavored waters like blood orange, lemon, and grapefruit. And this is a new flavor they just came out with that is unbelievable. What I love about it, it's cold-pressed juice right not from concentrate and they flat out say no natural flavor so it's cold pressed juice cold pressed oils this has grapefruit and blood orange so i'm going to get one of these two so very very exciting option let's take our drinks pay for them and do a taste test over by the food court all right taste test time desi and rose has joined us here at whole foods desi's going to film so art can partake in the uh tasting so we're going to start off with the uh apple cider vinegar drink with the uh, grape juice. Something I'm actually really excited to try because I haven't had grape juice in ages. Uh, Art's pouring like a samaya here. Do I need to like decant it here, Art? Yeah, you may want to. Cheers. Wow. That's delicious. You know what's interesting? On the smell, it's vinegary. But on the flavor, very, very little. The stevia does a great job. Exactly, Rose. Um, adding the sweetness and the Concord grape is really nice. There's I like it. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you guys. Run. Don't walk to the store. I don't know where else they have this. This is so good. This one only has four grams of sugar. I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells like an apple pie in a glass. It does. Four grams of sugar per serving. There's two servings, so eight grams of sugar in here is nothing. I'd rather have this one than that one, my opinion. Um, push comes to shove, I agree. Yeah. But for grape juice, guys, this is fantastic. If you want to give this to kids too, above the age of uh, one year, I would do that. Rose, you're not ready. Wait, what yeah. is this one? Apple cinnamon. Oh, you said grape juice. Oh, okay. but yeah, but if you want to give either one. All right. Next, that 
is surprisingly good. Yeah, I was expecting, we, was we agree that the apple cinnamon is like a pumpkin or like an apple pie. But this one's really good too and they have a bunch more on the shelves. Wow. All right, pour some of the S. I know what this tastes like and I think Art's had it before, but it'll be a big uh, cl palate cleanser before we move on or something like that. So remember, there's no artificial natural flavors. It's just juice and oils from the peel. It's really refreshing. The blend of the grapefruit with the blood orange, I think it's nice. Before we get to the heavy kind of uh, shakes, let's try the maple water here. So I've talked about this in other videos, but my, my dream is to go to Canada during maple harvest season and go to what's called a sugar shack, where they take the fresh maple syrup poured over snow on a stick and they have a candy cane like that. Oh, oh wow. I was a little worried. Like, did you open this? <laughs> so completely clear. But if you boil this for hours, this is maple syrup, right? We should try that. That'd be some bonus footage <laughs> that he doesn't know about yet. Wow, it's so faintly sweet, but it's really refreshing. Faintly sweet, indeed. They should put that, I should, I should sell on that tagline. That's, it's really good. You faintly, I don't know if they like the sound of faint. <laughs> it's generally not a good thing. I think it's good. Jesse, this is something we've never seen at the grocery store. This is the banana plant smoothie. And I like the fact they're getting the sweetness from the banana. It says shake well, so. Thank you. you it's like the episode comply. of uh, Seinfeld, oh, yeah, where Elaine exhausting. was tired of shaking. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that, Rose. Rose had her first banana this week, actually. She loved it. Hmm. Ringing the endorsement by Art there. You know what? The flavor of the bean is throwing me off. The bean? The bean and the quinoa. I didn't listen to yeah. anything you just said about what's in it. Now I'm reading beans, what? Not my favorite. They have other ones I'll try, but the black bean, the black soybean, and the quinoa, not my favorite. Not bad. Yeah, but these I know for sure are gonna be winners because I've tried them. So Art, pour these guys. And I know Art's gonna love this because Art loves coffee. And this is the one that has the coffee and the plant-based protein to the tune of 12 grams of protein there, which is totally cool to get your coffee fix with- Does this need to be shaken? Not I sure. assume so. Yeah, shake a lot, it says actually. Shake yeah, a lot, shake wow. A lot. Like a lot more than you think. Does it say shake it like a money maker? No, it says oh, shake oh, really? like oh, more than you think. That's hilarious. But these are fantastic for like shakes that are actually superfoods, lower sugar, and this one has a caffeine. Show the label. I can't do that from that angle. Art pours so fancy. He's like a, a server at a restaurant pouring wine. And he twists it so there's no drippage. What the heck was that? What? Solid. You got a salad in there? Curry came right out of there. I didn't get a salad. What was that? Oh, I have it too. I'll bet it's coconut cream. No, it's coconut cream. Okay, is that you supposed to? cream. It's coconut cream. Rebel, we love you. That one. That was actually very tasty. Besides that. That's supposed to be in there. I'm cool with it. I just. Tasty as can be. Can you open that one, Art? Yeah. No, it's the coconut cream. When it gets to a low temperature in the fridge, I did already. Oh, well, probably not as much as It solidifies. That's actually delicious, you guys. It's creamy, right amount of sweetness has that coffee flavor and it's almost fatty like a shake. If that was in there, I just wasn't expecting it, so. Yeah, this one's fantastic. Chocolate maca. Maca. The rose is loving it, huh? She's waking up from her nap. Hi, right, this one. This one's awesome. Because the coconut sugar, that's kind of nutty and caramely, goes with the chocolate so well. Cheers. Cheers. So good. Oh, that's nice. Right? So for me guys, this one is number one, and this one's number two. But this is the most surprising drink of the day. Go to the store and get these. It's actually one of the only flavored drinks in the grocery store that's actually good and good for you, and good for your gut, which is very, very important. So awesome taste test. Uh, we're gonna order some lunch now for everyone so Desi can join, then we'll have some more drinks afterwards. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing the way it has been in January is by you liking, spreading the word, and subscribing. We've had a great month so far. Let's keep the momentum going. Uh, we got two more videos going below us right now. But Art, 
Rose, myself, and Desi will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. You want me to chug that thing? Chug it, Art.